it says making two with B we're going to chain two so we always begin with our slip knot and it says to chain two one two and the next step it says we're going to work four single crochet in the first stitch so the others always had six for the horns it's going to be smaller we're going to have four so just going into the first chain and single crocheting forming a ring we're going to have a total of four that's two three and four that's our four single crochets round two they want us to work two single crochets in each stitch okay so we're going to grab our first stitch right here and we're going to single crochet one two in the same stitch putting our stitch marker in to the first stitch that we did and then continuing around two single crochets in every stitch so we'll have a total of eight when we're finished so we're on the horns round three it says to single crochet in each stitch around for this round so we're back at our stitch marker and we're just single crocheting in each stitch which is round four and they want us to single crochet two together all the way around so I'm going to turn this kind of inside out so that I can get to this so we're single crocheting two together let's move our stitch marker out of the way got one, two, single crochet two together, putting my stitch marker back in, okay now single crocheting two together, Again, single crochet two together. We're going to have a total of four stitches when we're finished. Okay, so now the next step here, we're rounds five through seven. So we're going to have three rounds where we're just going to single crochet in each stitch around and then we're going to fasten it off. And so that translates very simply just single crocheting. You're only going to have four stitches around and then we're going to fasten it off. So getting into these stitches, they're going to be a little tight. Make sure to move your stitch marker. This is the place where you could easily get lost in losing your place. Because they are so tiny and they start to get so close together it's hard to see them. So single crochet all the way around and fasten that off and then we'll move on to the ears and once you've finished your horn you're just going to cut it off this is the fastening off just pulling it through knotting it down and you're going to make two of these so you'll have two little horns the next step is we're going to make two ears and we're going to make them with the same B color, the same orange. And so um, it says that we're going to chain two. So we're looking at the pattern again, learning how to read our pattern with B, chain two. And then we're going to work six single crochet in the first chain. So as always, starting with our slip knot, folding that loop down, pulling this loop up, 
tightening that down, chaining two, one and two. And as the pattern stated for the ears, we're going to work six single crochet in the first chain, and then they want us to put our marker in. So um, the way we do that, got this twisted around here. Going back into the first chain, and we're going to six single crochet. So fairly easy, we've done this before. So round two, we're going to work two single crochet in each stitch around, and we're going to have a total of 12 stitches. So taking our first stitch right here. I can get into that. So one and two. We're going to have a total of 12 when we're finished. Two stitches in every stitch. and they say that we're just going to fasten that off. I like to slip stitch. I don't like to leave anything open like that, so I just slip stitch. I'm cutting that and then just pulling it through. Some people just pull it straight up and tighten down. You can do that as well. So we're going to make two ears. We're going to have two horns. We've got four of the legs. We've done the body. Um, and now I'm going to show you how to make the spots.